So how we work with these platforms. So the thing is when you are interacting with any AI tool, it means that uh, it allow you to ask any question. You need to interact with them. It's, it is the same case if you are sitting in front of you know many professors and who have the authority and information about the, the the subject and you want to ask a question so you need to think what type of question that should be that give me you know accurate information i can ask them anything and the question i'm going to ask is the key that will unlock the information we need okay so that means the structure of that question is really important and that's why when we are talking about AI powered research, we always talk about the prompt engineering, the way, the structure you ask your question. Okay, that, that's really important. So I have uh, uh, developed a formula and that formula is, uh, is uh, you know, published in a few papers as well. So this formula is in process, not published really yet, but it's just the latest information. I'm sharing it with you. So this formula is basically the way you need to craft your prompt. And remember, uh, the most important part of, of extracting information out of AI tool is the way you write your prompt. Okay? So that's why it's really important to understand the way we interact with this AI tool. So I named this formula as the 4C formula. There are four aspects of every prompt which you need to cover while you are writing okay so, so you need to give that clear information to all the ai tools no matter which tool you are using the prompt engineering will remain same okay for example the first thing is about call to action what action do you need what what do you need from this ai platform to do i will explain that call to action because it is a verb or it is called for action okay so the first thing is about the call for action then you need to provide the content, okay? So content is, is really important. What type of content you need? For example, let's say write. Write is, is a call to action. So system is ready. Now I'm going to write something, okay? What write? You need to write a letter. Now a letter is a content, okay? So you are giving the content, okay? So you need to write a letter. But in research, we do same. We need to give it a command or call to action. Then we need to provide the content. What exactly the system need to do. Okay. And then in our research, there are two important features which we must need to include in any prompt, which is called constructs and context. Okay. So the construct is arrangement of your variables. So constructs are basically the variables, the outcomes of your research. So you need to write what constructs you are looking for and the context. For example, in some specific country, in some specific age group, in some specific sector, industry, all this, these types of the information is called the context. So remember these four C's, call to action, content, constructs, and the context, okay? So this will give you a prompt structure like this, okay? So you have prompt structure, and this prompt structure would be like this. So action verb, first thing you need to give it an action or the call to action. Then the main concept of idea uh, related to literature review because these are some of these tools which we are using for literature review only. And this is called the content, okay? As I, I will give you some examples also. But with this, you need to add construct, for example, what exactly you you are looking for in terms of your uh, variables of the study of the research. Okay, so you need to provide those constructs. And finally, you need to add the context. If your research is context specialist for a specialist, uh, for example, if you are talking about the male and female, if you are talking about uh, any gender or any age group or any particular region or sector or particular disease so all these are different form of the context which we need to include within our prompt okay now first question here i need to learn is what exactly so what exactly a prompt look like and especially the verbs or the call to action uh, sorry i think i have exceeded the time where i was thinking so let's just 
quickly focus on. Uh, the first thing is about the verb. It's a verb or call to action. Very important one. But there are three types of the verbs which we can uh, understand. Those who are familiar with the Bloom's taxonomy, they are aware of this thought. Uh, one is called lower order thinking, then mid order thinking and higher order thinking. In the lower order thinking, we ask AI tool to just to bring information from the data bank which the, the AI tool already have. For example, if I ask you to remember something or to understand something, this is called a lower order thinking. You are reading, you are remembering, you are memorizing it and and uh, in the exam, I will ask you, can you define? So we have seen this word many times in our examination, define. So defining is like, you need to bring that definition which is already in your mind because you remembered it. Okay, so that, that's how we, we work with the lower order thinking. Then recall, list, recognize, name, repeat, identify, label, all these are some sort of the a lower order thinking, but there are many other verbs are also available. I have created a complete list of verbs which reflects the lower order thinking. But lower order thinking doesn't mean that this is a rank. This is not a rank. This is a use case. Okay, remember this and try to understand that the use case means sometime we need to define. Obviously, for example, your construct organizational performance. So I would ask you, can you define organizational performance? This is where you will be using this sort of verbs, okay? Lower order thinking verb, where you don't need to analyze, you just need to retrieve the information. And this is where you will be using lower order thinking. Okay, clear? So once we move on, then we have mid-level thinking where I want the system to bring information from the data bank, but at the same time, do some sort of analysis, okay? So analyze or maybe apply, illustrate, operate, show, implement. So some sort of analysis is being done. It's not just the retrieval of the information, but the retrieval of information with some analysis, okay? So that how we do work with the mid-level thinking. Most of the time, uh, when we are writing our introduction in literature review or, or any research article, this is where we, we use mid-level uh, you know, thinking and also in the conclusion section of our research. So we try to sum up the information, but also provide some, you know, implementation or uh, uh, maybe uh, some application or, you know, some demonstration. So this is where the, the, we ask AI to bring that information, but at the same time do some analysis. So this is mid-level thinking. And Higher order thinking is a really important one where we ask AI tool to develop something new to, to make decisions, okay? So this is higher order thinking. For example, critique, defend, develop. These types of the word, for example, I'm, I'm planning to develop a new framework. I'm planning to develop a new theory, a new solution for a problem. So all these are uh, thinking uh, abilities which are related with the higher order thinking. This is purely uh, analytical skills or skills where we are taking decisions based on the information we already have. We are not retrieving that information, but we are processing that information and extracting the solution out of that information. So that is higher order thinking. So what I did, I defined the verbs into three different phases the lower order thinking, mid-level thinking, and higher order thinking where you can uh, extract information from uh, different you know, yeah. AI tools. So let's, let's have a quick example and then we'll go back to practical session. So if I ask ChatGPT, can you recall the main finding related to the efficacy of cognitive behavior therapy, the content, okay, the efficacy of cognitive behavior therapy about anxiety management. So anxiety management, now it is my construct of the selected studies based on adolescent populations in the clinical setting. So the context is clear. So you can see all these different four parts of our uh, prompts are being done. But I ask it to recall only. Then mid-level thinking for same research question would be demonstrate how the finding of the reviewed study on cognitive behavioral therapy can be applied in practical clinical setting for 
uh, managing anxiety and same the context in adolescence. So it means that now the prompt is being changed. The way I crafted this prompt is different than the first one. So first I just asked for recall. Now I ask it to implement and tell me the practical implication, how we can do that. Okay, so this is a question based on the information available. And then finally, higher order thinking is critically evaluate the reliability and validity of the findings presented in the literature on the efficacy of cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety management in uh, adolescent population. So now if you check on this prompt, the result would be evaluation. So critically evaluate the reliability and validity, which is not available in the literature. So we're trying to assess the information and asking AI to analyze that information and give us the critical uh, evaluation of, of the, the prompt. Okay, so this is where we use these three different uh, distinct level of thinking. Okay, so you need to identify where you want to work on which sort of the uh, thinking. For example, in introduction, we do mid-level thinking. In literature review, most of the time we do lower order thinking, but also sometime higher order where we want to criticize the existing body of knowledge or to develop something new or to develop some new theories out of the existing one. So that's how we work with AI tools. The, this is how we interact with AI tools. 